Now, next discussion is on spreadsheet. So, basically, you see, spreadsheet is nothing but the is the element of rows and columns. So, A, B, C, D, these are the rows. One, two, three, four, these are the columns. Now, here you see, I am showing you Microsoft Excel 2016. So, first we see how to fix a cell. So, let's say, suppose I want to multiply. 2 with 4, then 5, then 6, then 7. So for this, I have to write the formula. This is equal to this cell, then multiplication sign star into this cell. If you multiply it, we will get 8. Now if I pull it down, you will get this is 0 because these values are 0. It is assumed that no values are there, so it is 0. So, to make it multiply with the 2, what I have to do? I have to change the formula. I have to fix the cell. How we can fix the cell? By putting the dollar sign in front of C. I will put the dollar sign in front of 3. I will put another dollar sign. So, row the column and rows row both are fixed now enter it will 8 now you see if i apply over here it will be like this so this is the way how we can you see fix the particular cell by using the dollar comma now next you see that is I want to compare to marks. There are lots of functions are there over here. You know that is from here actually you can insert the function. So insert and uh, these are these things. So I mean not from insert. It is from formula. It is you can insert the functions. So if you click on this button you will find that is the lots of functions are there so all these are the functions and the specific one financial date and time mathematical trigonometrical statistical lookup reference database text logical information engineering and all these different set of functions are there so let's see i want to use one common function of logical over the comparison that whether pass or fail. Now, in mathematics, this is the marks obtained, this is the pass mark. A pass mark, if let's suppose it is 40, and marks obtained it is 23, then 56, then it is 67, then again it is 12. Now, over here, I want to see whether I want to see whether these four students pass or fail. So how we can compare it, or how we can detect it? We have to call the this function that if. So I want to write over here equal to if then first bracket then this is a pass mark so if this value is greater than if this value pass mark value is greater than this value then the student will fail. Otherwise, else the students will pass. Enter, we'll see it has failed. Now, again, as I have not fixed the cell, so if I compare it it will not give the proper result so i want to fix it up that is a this particular cell i4 cell 
so you see go over here and then again fix it by putting the dollar sign dollar i dollar four then enter now if i make it drop it down then you will see this pass this is fail. so this is the how the logical operator is being used now you see next thing is that how we can short the data now for shorting the data actually we see over here we have this particular data sheet so this is the name of the instrument and this is the name of the you see industry so i want to short this name of the instrument let's suppose name of the instrument so i have selected it then i will go to home over here you will find this short so i want to short it you can short it from a to z or z to a i want to short it a to z so this will come expand selection continue with the current selection short it will only change the and that is it will be shorting the name of the instrument so you have started a b c d in this way you can see it now next one is that if i want to you see filter so these are the broad headings so i have to select this broad headings then you see that is the filter option if i activate then this will be looking like this now industry over here if i click then instead of select all i want to see the only the banks so select the banks and press ok so the banks will be shown so this is the very nice use of filtering the data then you see that is another thing we can do that is that we can prepare the chart so we have different types of charts you see under insert you will see you may see over here that is that this is the bar chart or the column chart this is the line chart this is the pie chart basically these are the three and others are there okay so this basic three charts how we can prepare the chart so you see i have to select these two columns then chart i want to prepare so select from here and this is the way you can select it which chart which type of chart you want to so different names are there so let's say, suppose i want to prepare this one so i have selected it and you can modify it according to your need right so this is how you can prepare the chart now you see that is another thing is there i want to show you that text alignment how you can write so let's suppose first before that i am showing you that if you want to highlight the particular area so here you see this is the borders you can put so i want to put borders all the borders so it will look like this now here if i write that is it is there only so better i can do it over here so i am selecting this then i am putting the borders in this mathematics i want to change the orientation so how we can change the orientation different sort of orientation such there so this is angle so it will look, it will be looking like this now if i change it in vertical form it will be looking like this so in this way actually we change the orientation of the text within the cell or you can move it in the middle alignment 
you can go it in the top so you cannot see it over here if you do it in a separate way that is in a, on in the separate cells you can see this that the alignment you can change then you can do that is the another thing that is over here that if i want to write university of north bengal so you see it is not coming within the cell so we can use this wrap text it will come within the cell so you can use this wrap text function to make it to bring the particular uh, text within a same cell or what you can do you can select it and you can use this particular function that is the march and center so three things are there march center march across march cells so march and center so it will be cells will be marched and it will be shown in the middle And last thing I am I want to show you that is how you can add something add some functions to this Excel. So first just click over here or you may go over here power and over here you will get more and in more actually you are not getting anything. So rather you can it is better that is you go over here that is click on this particular icon and here you will find more comments so lots of comments are there these are the popular comments now you come to the and if you want to see this all comments you can see so you can see how many comments are there now here add-ins now i want to add in that is the analysis tool pack which is a statistical tool pack with the advanced statistics so analysis tool pack select it then excel add in then go then just check it over here so these are the tool packs are available four tool add-ins one is analysis tool pack analysis tool pack vba euro currency tool pack solver add-in this solver add-in is used to solve the lpp problem in the excel so you can easily solve it so i am showing it that is the analysis tool pack then press ok now come where it will come now data you will see this data analysis has come if you just click on it it will open and you will see lots of functions are there apart from the functions which are included already in the function button under the function button. thank you for patient sharing